So the Central Alliance Party wants to ban cotton. Let's have a look. Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Heiser Says. The other day they wanted to ban another party, wanted to ban coal. Now people are talking about banning cotton. So don't export our rivers. Push for export ban on cotton. And this is an article by Peter Hannum from the Canberra Times. So you can understand why this came to my attention, having read about the Greens wanting to ban coal. I thought, you know, cotton, I, I know it's a very water-intensive crop, but should we be banning it? So Australia should phase out exporting cotton within three years to save a Murray-Darling Basin in deep crisis, according to the Central Alliance Party. Now, the Central Alliance Party, who I wasn't familiar with until now, is the result of Nick Xenophon team. So Xenophon has left the party, he's no longer involved, and they've rebranded as the Centre Alliance. And I think what I plan to do before this run-up to the election is just a series of videos on these different political parties that are around here in Australia. So we can kind of get an understanding of them, their policies. A lot of people don't want to vote for the miners, they think it's a vote, but uh, sorry, a waste of a vote, but in some ways it's good to send a, a signal to the majors and to kind of force them to deal with people. But, you know, you don't want them saying one thing and then acting like another. So, yeah, Zenavon, he, he was pushing himself as a as centre, but he really came across as more to the left than I would have expected. Maybe that's just the Overton window. So, yeah, so he's gone, and now they're the Centre Alliance Party, and they want to ban cotton. So the Stra South Australian-based party plans to introduce legislation into both ha both houses of the federal parliament to amend the Export Control Act 1982 to ban the crop, circumnavigating complex juris uh, jurisdictional controls between federal and state governments. Something needs to be done and no one's taking action, Rex Patrick, the Central Alliance's environmental spokesman said. It's not in our nation's interest to export our river. According to the Alliance, the cotton industry accounts for about 27% of the entire water allocation across the Murray-Darling Basin, making it the biggest water extractor. About 90% of the crop is exported. And that's kind of what you do. If you're growing a cash crop, you export it. You know, humanity's been doing that for as long as we've been growing crops. Exporting cotton is like exporting water. Yes, and water can come back. You know, it kind of falls out of the sky. Maybe if we build dams, we could capture some of the water that's falling. Maybe in far north Queensland. We're quite literally sucking the lifeblood out of the Murray-Darling River system at the expense of downstream food producers. The towns and cities depend on our river for water supply and the overall environmental health and of the river system all the way to the Karoon Lagoon in South Australia. I would argue that maybe we need to regulate and manage water usage more efficiently and more smartly than just simply banning an entire industry. It seems... You know, I think this has just been said to get some attention for their party. I, I think they 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 have to be doing this just to get some attention. Oh yeah, we'll just ban the whole industry. Yes, we'll put this this leg legislation in, ban it all, and we'll get more people interested in in our centre reasonable party. The centre alliance demand comes days after the South Australian Royal Commission into the basin released a report highly critical of the maladministration of the thirteen billion basin plan so i might look at that in a future video because royal commissions are all the rage in australia at the moment the reports of failure to shift the morrison government and basin states queensland new south wales victoria and south australia was a key reason for the central alliance to proceed with its cotton export plan well no it's not an export plan it's a non-export plan the reaction the disrespect the dismissal and a best weak response to the report by Commissioner Brett Walker, SC. You can see nothing will change, Senator Patrick said. Now, for those of you overseas who may not be aware, the Murray-Darling Basin is a, a large um, catchment area here in Australia, like huge, 
huge. It's not small, and I'll, we'll look at some images lately, but there's been a lot of fish deaths. Uh, a lot of Murray cod have died, and it's kind of mixed messages of what's causing it. Um, it looks like a lot of it's to do with bad management from the authorities, but releasing water, uh, temperature differences that's caused a lot of the deaths of the cod. Uh, and everyone seems to be jumping on the let's get rid of the cotton industry. So I, I think people need to take a step back and we need to look at this sensibly and kind of calm down a bit before we try and destroy entire sections of our economy. Because, you know, fish can regrow, nature survives. The proposal also comes after Mendy on the lower uh, Darling River in far west New South Wales last week suffered its third big fish kill in about five weeks. The latter two may well have killed more than one million fish each, including endangered silver, endangered silver perch and giant decade, decades-old Murray cod, which it's a tragic, tragic loss. Adam Kay, the chief executive of Cotton Australia, re uh, rejecting the Central Alliance's plan as a dangerous political stunt. Well, yeah, I, I, it, it really has the feeling of just an overdramatic, hyperbola political move, maneuver. And is this what the, you know, this is my first introduction to the new center alliance. Is this how they play? Is this how they, you know, they try and get attention? I guess it's, it's what you have to do. It's all about competing for eyeballs, competing for clicks, competing for attention. Because uh, if this series I plan to do is, is going to show me there's a lot of parties here in Australia all vying for your vote. The move was not only an attack on our industry, but a reckless attack on rural communities and hard-working Australian farmers. We actually have cotton growers in the family, and uh, I have to go out there. We'll have to go out and visit them again soon. Farming is a tough game. It is a tough business. So we thoroughly condemn this move and call on the federal government and labor to stand up for our farmers and denounce this outrageous assault on our industry. Labor support, though, is unlikely. Shouldn't labor be behind, you know, primary producers because they employ all the workers on the farms? Oh, wait, no, no, no. They, they're all identity politics these days, aren't they? Environmental, and I know it's usually, they, they don't care about the country. It's always, that that's where we got the nationals. So environmental spokesman Tony Burke took to Twitter to state that the key issue is for total water entitlement for irrig uh, irrigators to be reduced rather than the ban and then banning one crop's exports. Oh, so he's having like a sensible idea. Isn't this what the center party is meant to be? They're meant to be the party of compromise and, and you know, the center of the Overton window. No, no, no. We've got to ban the whole crop. That, that's, this is a, the same strategy that the greens are proposing. They want to ban all coal. So, you know, it's maybe it's uh, it has to be. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think they're sensible about this policy? Or do you think it's a political stunt taking advantage of the deaths that we've had in the rivers of all the fish to try and get some attention? I mean, I'm reading about them, so I guess it's working. In a non-drought year, the industry employs up to 10,000 people and Australia is up among the top three cotton exporters behind the US and India. Wow. Over the 2009-2014 period, the crop averaged two billion in annual va in annual value. He said two billion. Two billion. That's a lot of revenue. But Senator Patrick has provided photographs of recent flights over cotton farms further up the river system in Queensland, such as the Bullamon Plains, where large areas have been sown and dams are full. There we go. Rebecca Sharkey, the Central Alliance MP for Mayo in South Australia, said that the latest fish kills on the Lower Darling Basin and the fact that some townships are now without river water left no doubt that the Murray-Darling system is in deep crisis through over-exploitation of water resources. This is without question a consequence of gross mismanagement and the exceeding diversion of water to supply export crops produced in Queensland and Western New South Wales, she said. I wonder how many of these farms are diverted from the river, uh, sorry, the dams are diverted from the river or actually captured on their own property. 
you know they never explain that they're just showing all, all the images so that would be interesting to know because particularly with cubby here that gets a lot of a lot of negative press by the greens and by a lot of politicians attacking it it is an engineering marvel just how it's been designed how the landscape has been worked to capture a lot of the water which would have just blown away which wouldn't have necessarily just gone all straight into the river it's turning creating an asset out of nothing it could also be the fact that we're maybe you know in a drought in parts of australia at the moment i just drove a couple of hours from brisbane it was brown and dead everywhere so cotton growing in australia you know they want to ban it to uh, make this you know get some political attention i thought i'd have a look at just some of the cotton growing regions that we have here and this is from what ecological australia eco dot oz uh, eco oz dot com dot au and you can see here some of the uh, the different regions the green light the amber light and the red light are just the different areas where they grow cotton and you can see here all of the different centers that they have so not that many in south australia you know, 37 is, you know, uh, Renmark. And the further up you go here, all the way up, and you've got summer cereals and, and different growing. So we've got a large, large um, <laughs> crop growing in this area here. And you can see the Darling River here, and we've got the Murray going here, and they flow down here, and they capture a whole lot, a whole lot of water. But, okay, so, Florian, we're in drought. We need to ban this crop. Ban, ban, ban. Bad, bad. You know, save the fish, save the planet, um, go the greens. What about we do something else? What about we look at the Bradfield screen scheme? Now, this is proposed by John Bradfield, and he is an engineer. He's well known for having designed the Story Bridge here in Brisbane and a little bridge in Sydney. You know, it just goes across the harbour, Sydney Harbour Bridge. You may have heard of it. And this was his scheme to irrigate and dam in the heart of of Queensland to capture a lot of this water that's running off and this is the proposal here We're looking at some you know building all these dams Hellgate's dam Flinders dam and this was proposed you know what 50 60 years ago to kind of create a bread basket here for Australia now I'd be interested in just even if this isn't feasible even if this isn't feasible if we're looking at uh, infrastructure projects for the future of our civilization wouldn't you want to look at those that can increase our potential to produce ca cra cash crops and to produce um foodstuffs or would you you know if, if you're going no it's wrong we don't want the state involved what about giving the opportunity for public companies to do this to invest in certain things to invest in a dam and then sell it off list it on the share market i don't know it's just an idea it's something to think about rather than simply banning crops. Where's the alternative? These guys are the center alliance and they're sounding like the Greens to me. That's what they're sounding like. So guys, let me know what you think. Do you think that uh, it's a stunt? Do you reckon that we have to ban cotton here from Australia? What are we gonna do with all those jobs? What do you think about the uh, Bradfield scheme? Or do you hate dams? Let me know in the comments. Please like, share and subscribe. And I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye for now.